just a shh moment. I'm going to give it to Juliet for all the hard work that she's done putting this thing together for this picnic. So we're putting our name and the years that we were on the show, and I'm going to present it to her later. So thank you so much, Juliet, for all your hard work. <laughs> The Soul Train Picnic Reunion and I'll let Marco take it from there. So, this is Teresa Jackson. She was one of my dance partners in the late 70s, early 80s. Um, 1978 to 1980. So, my name is Marco de Santiago. I danced on Soul Train from 1976 to 1992. And to my right is Sally Achenbach. Can tell them the years you danced on Soul Train? I danced on there from 1985 to 1993. I danced from 1987 to 2000. Well, you can say that, you know, Juliet is the one. She is Nelly of Give the Soul Train Picnic. Yes. So here's a Juliet, we just want to let you know we thank you and all the gang for keeping it together. And tell us, what is our theme this year? Okay, we have several things done with the theme this year because I wanted to do it like a 60s style type fun, funky, colorful. And it's kind of like a mix of Coachella and Paisley Park. And Soul Train here. And if you notice that everybody's in kind of like a tie-dye theme, so... Check it all out. We're here having fun every year, and uh, come back next year. A lot of food. Good food, fun, and music. And I would love for Marco to come out in Las Vegas to the studio. We have a studio, <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and put it out for the other millennials. I'm chairwoman of the board for Hope of the Valley Rescue Mission, and I've been doing a lot for the community. We've been bringing people off the streets and into housing. So it's been wonderful. Tashi! Tashi, yeah! yeah. <laughs> All right, Taji, um, how long did you dance for? Since, uh, I mean, I oh, what year did you start on Soul Train? Oh, 1975. I was about eight. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out here. 75. I danced hard until about two, like, uh, we'll say, 95. 95, yeah, because I started working at ABC Television, and, uh, um, when they called me in for overtime, I had to do it sometimes on the weekends. You know, so I missed so training. But I was always there in the evenings or whatever. So I, that, was, that was a major part of my life. And all the friends and people we met. I mean, still, these are some of the longest people I know in Los Angeles anyway. Are, are my soul trained people and ABC people. That's why I Thank stopped you guys. dancing too. I got a job at Metro Media in 1980 and worked till 19... Until 2019, 39 years. Yeah, looking yeah. good. So what do you have next for us? <laughs> well, actually in October, I'm going to have what's called a Soul Train Evening of Pink. And the reason why we call it Evening of Pink is for breast cancer. October 5th is Breast Cancer Awareness Day, but the entire month is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So I'm going to ask the guests to wear some form of pink. And I see my friends on the left and right, they have no problem with <laughs> wearing some pink. I even have a pink suit, but it's going to be really nice. Um, what I'm going to do is reach out to cancer centers in the, in the deepest, darkest ghettos where these women are so disadvantaged, but I'm going to have them have makeovers, uh, clothing, and um, everything's going to be really done for them, and the proceeds are going to be donated to the cancer uh, community. Yeah, you know, I'm here to support all the dancers. I, I was never a dancer, but I was interviewing Don Cornelius for BET. I'm a part of the BET family. And that was when Donnie Simpson was doing Video Soul. And I was covering a show called Screen Scene on BET many years ago for 10 years. Oh, you look beautiful in that. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry to get me this. When did you dance and what did you love most about dancing on Soul Train? 71 and 2. Maybe four, and then came back about maybe 81, you know, I'm like off and on. Um, I just loved the dancing and the whispers. I was always on there when the whispers was on there. Uh, just, I just, that's where the fire, the maze, just like that. That's what I like. Yeah. I'm good. So introduce yourself, please. Hi, my name is Taninia. What years did you dance on Soul Train? I danced on Soul Train in the late 80s, early 90s. He was one of my partners. And Questlove did a book. She's and I'm on the back cover. <laughs> All right, have a great time. Thank you. Hey, how you doing? Business. Look at you. Hey, girl. Hi. Welcome back to LA. Tell me, what yeah. about the Soul Train 
Oh, girl, you know I still got the move. I can still get my groove on, you know what I'm saying? What's your name, by the way? Who you are? What you been up to? Oh, I'm Bernard Golden, and I am, I've am i been working on, like, still working on movies, getting a movie done pretty soon, waiting for some funding to come through pretty soon so I can shoot my first feature film. Also, I'm going back in the studio to do an album uh, with Karen White and some other people. We're going to do it in the, in the studio, and we're going to put it out there. We're gonna be, I'll be back on the scene, be back out there with some music for y'all to have y'all dancing. And you're going to be on social media. But don't forget, I still got music, an album on internet, on Django, Airplay Radio Station. Check it out. Belnard, B-E-L-N-A-R-R, -R, Golden, on internet radio, Django. Hello, darling. I have missed you. I'm so excited to see you and to be on your camera. You make my whole life blue and exciting at the same time. I'm Darius Daryl Mays. I'm between the years of 1980 to 93. I'm one of the main Soul Train dancers as well. So it's an honor to be here with my family and to see you here. Well, actually, dancing to me is an expression of what you do with yourself, how you open up, how you change the world, how they see you. That means you have to put all your energy in it. And then when you go out there in the world and dance on the floor, or just go anywhere, exhibit yourself. Just be yourself. God is good. No, really. He's very we're about to take a group picture. Oh, we're gonna do it. Oh, we are. Hey, you. Hey, hey, what's going on? How are you, man? Okay. Yeah, get a place to go. Yep. How you doing? Ah, thank you. Brian Williams, seventies. <laughs> Uh, 2006 from 1989. Thank you. I'm 82 to 2000. Hey, hey. What year did you get it? I was there 1975 to 1990. Okay, yeah. And I had a wonderful time on Soul Train. I wouldn't have traded it for the world. Thank you. Say what? Talk to me. What did I... Well, because uh, it was a black culture movement and basically... Without that that show, America would have no soul, no dancing, no. no they, you wouldn't you wouldn't see as much dancing as you see now. Exactly. There wouldn't be no TikToks. And what would Don Kennedy say after the show? Oh, love, peace, and soul. Love, peace, and soul. My name is Leland Ferguson. I danced from 1983 to 2004. But uh, I came in 79, but Chuck threw me off, so I had to come back later. You were one of the best dancers. Were there opportunities for you at that time? Oh, yes. I'm still living off opportunities. I'm still living off opportunities. But, I mean, you know, away from Soul Train, we didn't get paid to dance on there. But I did other events. Um, and when we did those, we got paid. I danced like three times on Channel 7, Channel 4. You know, so Soul Train really blossomed. And it's fun when your cousins back east see you and they say, hey, I saw you. But I think the best was the, when we did the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. We did an episode for Soul Train on the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. How's Eric doing? Eric, Eric's doing good. I texted him like seven times. I'm like, I'm leaving. I'm on my way out here. So I wasn't able to see him today. And uh, Ricky lives in, uh, he lives in Atlanta, and Manuel's on his way down here. So those are my running buddies. Always. Love you. Peace. Uh, 
you know I moved back to Julius, Vegas to Henderson two months ago. To September September 10th at Soul Belly on Main near Fremont Street. You know, right? September 10th. You know. That's right. Okay. The group picture. So finish packing your food or doing whatever you're going to do. We got the group picture. And of course, we're going to end the night with the Soul Train line. And right now, what we're about to do also is pick the best dressed and give them some gifts. And we're also going to do the best dancer, give them some gifts and prizes. If you have any kids here, I need to see how many kids we have here. I got some gifts and prizes for all the kids that are here. And uh, yeah, we're about to do all of that and just start in about 10 minutes. So finish up with your food and we're going to get started. Let's go. Let me grab a second plate. Okay. okay. So who are you? Who designed that jacket? It's not a design, it's just a jacket I got from a thrift store. And I had a Soul Train logo put on the back. That's all it is. Okay, so it's all it what it is. All right, you're about to get down there. Woo! Okay, thank you. She's the dancer. <laughs> this is my sister. You look, you look like our um, auntie, auntie. Um, what was her name? I forgot her name. She, now that I'm the camera, I forgot. <laughs> I look like one of y'all. Oh, you're yes. beautiful. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. How you doing? Good. Right. How about you, Valerie? Looking good. You looking good. Both of y'all in t-shirts. Tell me about the oh, tie dyes. Oh, it's uh, uh, Let's see. Oh, sort of, no, and uh, you know, he was playing in the, and I was helping him put sand in his bucket in the kindergarten. You know, and, uh, we became friends. He, he did a move, and I said, "You can dance, oh damn! I can, I can dance too." We were dancing in kindergarten. Yeah, we was doing splits like James Brown, and uh, I slid up, and I was like, "Soul Train, baby!" And I pulled him up from his shirt, and that's how <laughs> that whole concept started. And that's how it started. He was cold, and I got a jacket, so and I put it over him. like James Brown. <laughs> Among all my friends and my kids. <laughs> so you tell everybody what you used to do for Don Geniz on the Soul Train. How long you worked with them? I worked for Don from 1971 to 2006. I was the first person he hired in Los Angeles to work on the show. I was with him for 35 years. And I interviewed and auditioned all the dancers on the show. And worked with talent. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Hey, hi. What's your name? My name is Elijah. Oh, I like that shirt, sure. Elijah. Uh, so tell me, are you having a good time? Yeah. Awesome. And what is your name? Nile. How old are you? Six. Come here, Dominic. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Dominique. Hi. Hi. And uh, it's like a real dancer right here. Soul Train. We need one uh, another Soul Train coming up. Do you think you can come out and get us a Soul Train for the young youth? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. What's your name? Sophia. Hi, Sophia. You look beautiful. Thank Are you, you enjoying yourself? Yes. Who's your grandma? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Hi everybody, we're here at the Soul Train Picnic. This is the eighth annual and we're happy you guys joined awesome. us. We had a fine time. This is all my family here, so hey, take a look at everybody. Hey. <laughs>